Question 1. What does the amber light flashing at a pelican crossing mean to a driver? A. Stop and wait for a green light. B. Give way to pedestrians if they're waiting to cross. C. Accelerate to clear the crossing quickly. Answer. B. Give way to pedestrians if they're waiting to cross. An amber flashing light at a pelican crossing indicates the driver should give way to any pedestrians waiting to cross. Question 2. Why should you reduce your speed when driving in fog? A. To reduce fuel consumption. B. To avoid dazzling other drivers. C. To increase reaction time. Answer. C. To increase reaction time. In foggy conditions, visibility is reduced, hence increasing your reaction time is crucial to stay safe. Question 3. What is the national speed limit on a single carriageway for cars? A. 50 miles per hour. B. 60 miles per hour. C. 70 miles per hour. Answer. B. 60 miles per hour. The national speed limit for cars on single carriageways is 60 miles per hour unless signs show otherwise. Question 4. At a zebra crossing, you must give way to pedestrians. A. Waiting to cross. B. Who wave at you to stop. C. Already on the crossing. Answer. C. Already on the crossing. At a zebra crossing, drivers must give way to pedestrians who are already on the crossing. Question 5. What is the stopping distance at 70 miles per hour? A. 96 meters. B. 75 meters. C. 120 meters. Answer. A. 96 meters. The stopping distance at 70 miles per hour, taking into account thinking and braking distance, is 96 meters. Question 6. When should you not to use your horn? A. To alert another driver of your presence. B. In stationary queues of traffic. C. When a driver is going too slowly. Answer. B. In stationary queues of traffic, it's inappropriate and can be intimidating to use your horn in stationary traffic. Question 7. What does the dual carriageway end sign look like? A. A blue rectangle with a white car on it. B. A green circle with two white cars on it. C. A white rectangle with a black car on it. Answer. C. A white rectangle with a black car on it. This sign indicates the end of a dual carriageway. Question 8. Before overtaking a large vehicle, you should A. Stay close behind it. B. Flash your headlights. C. Drop back to get a better view. Answer. C. Drop back to get a better view. It's essential to see the road ahead clearly before you attempt to overtake. Question 9. How should you use anti-lock brakes when you need to stop in an emergency? A. Brake and release the pedal in rhythm. B. Pump the brake pedal quickly. C. Brake firmly and steer normally. Answer. C. Brake firmly and steer normally. Anti-lock brakes are designed to prevent skidding, allowing the driver to steer while braking. Question 10. What's the legal drink-drive alcohol limit for drivers in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland in micrograms, the 100 milliliters of breath? A. 15 micrograms. B. 35 micrograms. C. 50 micrograms. Answer. B. 35 micrograms. The legal limit is 35 micrograms for 100 milliliters of breath, but any amount of alcohol can affect your ability to drive safely. Question 11. 
When can you use your car's horn while stationary? A. To warn others of your presence. B. Never. C. When another driver upsets you. Answer. A. To warn others of your presence. However, avoid using the horn unnecessarily and avoid using it between 11. 30 p.m. and 7. 0 a.m. in built-up areas. Question 12. When driving at night, you should use dipped headlights. A. Only when other vehicles are in front of you. B. At all times. C. Only when there's oncoming traffic. Answer. B. At all times. Dipped headlights should be used when driving at night, ensuring that you don't dazzle other road users. Question 13. What should you do if a vehicle tries to overtake you as you are overtaking? A. Speed up to finish overtaking quickly. B. Drop back behind the vehicle you're overtaking. C. Maintain your speed and position. Answer. B. Drop back behind the vehicle you're overtaking. It's safer to drop back and let the vehicle pass than to risk a dangerous situation. Question 14. When towing a caravan on a motorway, what's the maximum speed limit? A. 60 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 70 miles per hour. Answer. A. 60 miles per hour. When towing a caravan or trailer, the maximum speed limit is 60 miles per hour on motorways. Question 15. Which lights should you use if you're driving in heavy rain during daytime? A. Full beam headlights. B. Rear fog lights. C. Dipped headlights. Answer. C. Dipped headlights. In heavy rain during the daytime, using dipped headlights helps make your vehicle more visible to other road users. Question 16. When may you overtake another vehicle on the left? A. When the vehicle in front is indicating to turn right. B. In slow-moving traffic queues when vehicles are moving slowly. C. Under no circumstances. Answer. A. When the vehicle in front is indicating to turn right. It's allowed to overtake on the left if the vehicle you are overtaking is signaling to turn right and there's room to do so. Question 17. When can you park on the right-hand side of a road at night? A. When you're in a one-way street. B. Anytime you wish. C. If the road has street lighting. Answer. A. When you're in a one-way street, parking on the right at night is only allowed in a one-way street or where parking is allowed by local signs. Question 18. When should hazard warning lights be used while driving? A. To warn of your presence when parked in a dangerous position. B. When driving on a motorway or dual carriageway to warn drivers behind you of a hazard or obstruction. C. As a form of greeting to other road users. Answer. B. When driving on a motorway or dual carriageway to warn drivers behind you of a hazard or obstruction. They should not be used while driving unless indicating a hazard to other drivers. Question 19. At a junction with a steel sign, what should you do? A. Slow down and be prepared to stop. B. Stop completely and give way to traffic on the main road. C. Drive on quickly if the road appears clear. Answer. B. Stop completely and give way to traffic on the main road. At a STOP sign, a complete stop is legally required. Question 20. You're approaching a right-hand bend. What hazards should you be aware of? A. Oncoming cyclists. B. Parked vehicles. C. Pedestrians crossing. 
Answer. A. Oncoming cyclists. Cyclists might take a more central position when approaching or on the bend, making them potential hazards. Question 21. If you see a red triangle road sign, what does it signify? A. The sign provides an instruction. B. The sign indicates a warning or hazard ahead. C. The sign gives information on a primary route or motorway. Answer. B. The sign indicates a warning or hazard ahead. Triangular road signs are used in the UK to warn drivers about hazards ahead. Question 22. In a vehicle with manual transmission, what does riding the clutch mean? A. Keeping the clutch pedal fully depressed while driving. B. Keeping the clutch pedal slightly depressed while driving. C. Changing gears quickly. Answer. B. Keeping the clutch pedal slightly depressed while driving. Riding the clutch can lead to unnecessary wear and reduced control. Question 23. What's the primary purpose of wearing seat belts? A. To protect you from airbag injury. B. To reduce your risk of injury in a crash or sudden stop. C. To prevent you from sliding in your seat. Answer. B. To reduce your risk of injury in a crash or sudden stop. Seat belts are designed to hold you securely in place, reducing injury risks. Question 24. How can you identify areas reserved for trams? A. White zigzag lines. B. Yellow box markings. C. White diamond markings. Answer. C. White diamond markings. These markings indicate tram-only areas where other vehicles aren't allowed. Question 25. You're driving on a motorway. If you feel tired, what should you do? A. Increase speed to reach your destination quicker. B. Stop at the next service area for a break. C. Drink coffee and continue your journey. Answer. B. Stop at the next service area for a break. It's crucial to rest if you feel fatigued as driving tired can be as dangerous as driving under the influence. Question 26. What does a solid white line at the side of a road indicate? A. The edge of the carriageway. B. No parking at any time. C. A pedestrian crossing point. Answer. A. The edge of the carriageway. It helps drivers identify the edge, especially in poor visibility. Question 27. You're towing a trailer on a motorway. Which lanes can you use? A. Any lane. B. The left and middle lanes only. C. The left lane only. Answer. B. The left and middle lanes only. Vehicles towing trailers are restricted from the rightmost, overtaking, lane of a motorway with three or more lanes. Question 28. When should you not to use your rear fog lights? A. When visibility is more than 100 meters. B. When it's raining heavily. C. On motorways. Answer. A. When visibility is more than 100 meters, using fog lights in clearer conditions can dazzle other drivers. Question 29. What should you do when you see two flashing red lights at a railway level crossing? A. Stop and wait behind the white line. B. Drive on quickly if no train is coming. C. Drive on slowly if you can't see a train coming. Answer. A. Stop and wait behind the white line. Flashing red lights at a railway level crossing indicate an approaching train and you should stop safely and wait. Question 30. When is it legal to use a handheld mobile phone while driving? A. When driving at a low speed. B. When stopped at traffic lights. 
See, when safely parked with the engine off. Answer. C. When safely parked with the engine off, using a handheld mobile phone while driving is illegal, but you can use it when parked safely and the engine is turned off. Question 31. When is it appropriate to use the hard shoulder of a motorway? A. To rest or have a break from driving. B. To answer a phone call. C. In emergencies or when directed by the police or traffic signs. Answer. C. In emergencies or when directed by the police or traffic signs. The hard shoulder is meant for emergencies or when indicated by authorities. Question 32. You are driving behind a long vehicle approaching a crossroads. The driver signals to turn left. What should you do? A. Overtake on the left. B. Stay behind and wait. C. Overtake on the right. Answer. B. Stay behind and wait. Long vehicles might need extra road space to turn. Overtaking could be dangerous. Question 33. What is the purpose of road humps, chicanes and narrowings? A. To increase traffic flow. B. To provide parking. C. To reduce traffic speed. Answer. C. To reduce traffic speed. These measures are traffic calming features to ensure vehicles slow down in specific areas. Question 34. If you are going through a tunnel and your vehicle breaks down, what should you do? A. Wait in the car for help. B. Turn on hazard lights and walk to an emergency telephone point. C. Leave your vehicle without turning on any lights. Answer. B. Turn on hazard lights and walk to an emergency telephone point. This ensures your vehicle is visible and you can summon assistance. Question 35. When are you allowed to enter a bus lane marked with a single continuous line? A. At any time. B. Outside the hours of operation stated on nearby signs. C. Only during weekends. Answer. B. Outside the hours of operation stated on nearby signs. Always observe and follow the signposted timings for bus lanes. Question 36. In which of the following situations should you NAMO to overtake another vehicle? A. When approaching a school crossing. B. On a clear open road with no traffic ahead. C. In slow-moving traffic queues. Answer. A. When approaching a school crossing. It's dangerous as children could be crossing or about to cross. Question 37. True or false? Is it legal to park on a pedestrian crossing, including the area marked by the zigzag lines? Answer. False. Parking on a pedestrian crossing or the zigzag lines is illegal and dangerous. Question 38. What does the sign of a white C on a blue background represent? A. Clearway, no stopping. B. Car park entrance. C. Congestion charge zone. Answer. C. Congestion charge zone. This sign indicates you're entering an area where a congestion charge applies. Question 39. What should you do if your vehicle starts to skid? A. Brake hard and immediately. B. Steer in the direction you want the front of the vehicle to go. C. Take your hands off the steering wheel. Answer. B. Steer in the direction you want the front of the vehicle to go. This might help regain control. Question 40. True or false? Motorcycles are entitled to use the full width of their lane, just like other vehicles. Answer. True. Motorcycles have the same road rights as other vehicles and can use the full width of their lane. 
Question 41. Why should you check your mirrors before changing lanes? A. To see if your indicators are working. B. To check the width of your vehicle. C. To check for vehicles in your blind spot. Answer. C. To check for vehicles in your blind spot. Before changing lanes, ensure it's safe by checking mirrors and blind spots. Question 42. What is the main hazard when parking at night? A. The vehicle battery might go flat. B. Pedestrians might walk into your vehicle. C. Another vehicle might collide with yours. Answer. B. Pedestrians might walk into your vehicle. It's harder to see parked vehicles at night, especially if they're not well lit. Question 43. What does a circle with a blue background and a white arrow pointing upwards indicate? A. Ahead only. B. Turn left ahead. C. Turn right ahead. Answer. A. Ahead only. This sign indicates you must proceed straight ahead. Question 44. If you break down on a motorway, where should you place the warning triangle? A. On the hard shoulder. B. 45 meters behind your vehicle. C. You shouldn't use a warning triangle on a motorway. Answer C. You shouldn't use a warning triangle on a motorway. It can be hazardous to place or retrieve them. Question 45. What is the main reason for incidents in tunnels? A. Driving too closely to the vehicle in front. B. Breakdown of vehicles. C. Over speeding. Answer. A. Driving too closely to the vehicle in front. Keeping a safe distance helps avoid collisions. Question 46. What does an amber flashing light on a vehicle mean? A. The vehicle is broken down. B. The vehicle is reversing. C. The vehicle is slowing down or stopping due to an emergency. Answer. C. The vehicle is slowing down or stopping due to an emergency. This is common on vehicles like school buses or tow trucks. Question 47. Which vehicle will use a blue flashing beacon? A. Farm tractor. B. Road maintenance vehicle. C. Snow plow. Answer C. Snow plow. Blue flashing beacons are also used by emergency services. Question 48. You're driving in freezing conditions and your vehicle starts to skid. You should. A. Release the brake and reapply it quickly. B. Steer into the skid. C. Pump the brakes. Answer. B. Steer into the skid. This helps you regain control of the vehicle. Question 49. True or false? Antifreeze helps prevent overheating in summer. Answer. True. Antifreeze also acts as a coolant. Question 50. Why is it dangerous to leave your engine running in an enclosed space? A. It wastes fuel. B. It can cause carbon monoxide poisoning. C. It can drain the battery. Answer. B. It can cause carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a deadly gas that's odorless and colorless. Question 51. Why should you make regular checks of your vehicle's brake fluid? A. To check its color. B. To ensure safe stopping. C. To prevent overheating. Answer. B. To ensure safe stopping. Low or contaminated brake fluid can reduce braking efficiency. Question 52. You see a pedestrian with a red and white stick. What does this mean? A. The person is a school crossing patrol. B. 
the person is blind and deaf. C. The person is a guide for blind people. Answer. B. The person is blind and deaf. Give them plenty of space and be patient. Question 53. In very hot weather, the road surface can become soft. Why should you reduce your speed? A. Because the tires can wear out more quickly. B. To avoid sinking into the road surface. C. To prevent skidding on the molten tar. Answer. C. To prevent skidding on the molten tar. Softened road surfaces can be slippery. Question 54. When is it acceptable to sound your horn in anger at another road user? A. Never. B. If they're driving too slowly. C. If they've cut you off. Answer. A. Never. Horns should be used to alert others of your presence, not to show frustration or aggression. Question 55. What's the most significant cause of road traffic incidents in the UK? A. Poor road conditions. B. Mechanical failures. C. Human error. Answer. C. Human error. Most accidents result from mistakes or decisions made by drivers. Question 56. What should you do when you're driving or riding and feel unwell? A. Speed up to reach your destination quicker. B. Continue driving and hope it passes. C. Stop and seek assistance or rest. Answer. C. Stop and seek assistance or rest. It's unsafe to drive when feeling unwell. Question 57. When are you allowed to use the horn while your vehicle is stationary? A. When a moving vehicle poses a danger. B. To let someone know you've arrived. C. To show frustration at being held up. Answer. A. When a moving vehicle poses a danger, the horn should only be used to warn others of danger. Question 58. Which document must you have when supervising a learner driver? A. A current driving license. B. An advanced driving certificate. C. A teaching certificate. Answer. A. A current driving license. You must also have held that license for at least three years. Question 59. What does it mean when the ABS warning light on the dashboard stays on? A. The anti-lock brakes are in good working order. B. The anti-lock braking system is faulty. C. The brakes are in good working order. Answer. B. The anti-lock braking system is faulty. If the light stays on after the engine has started, there might be a problem with the system. Question 60. True or false? It's okay to use front fog lights in clear conditions to be more visible. Answer. False. Using front fog lights in clear conditions can dazzle other drivers. Question 61. Which lane should you use on a three-lane motorway if there's no traffic ahead? A. Any lane. B. The middle lane. C. The left lane. Answer. C. The left lane. Always use the leftmost lane if the road ahead is clear. Question 62. Before a long journey, why should you plan brakes at least every two hours? A. To refuel your vehicle. B. To avoid getting tired and maintain concentration. C. To check your tires. Answer. B. To avoid getting tired and maintain concentration. Regular brakes can help reduce the risk of tiredness and keep you alert. Question 63. You're waiting to turn right at a junction. An oncoming vehicle is turning left into the same road. Who has priority? A. You because you're turning right. B. 
the oncoming vehicle. C. Neither, it's a mutual understanding. Answer. B. The oncoming vehicle. They are following the main road, and you should wait for them to pass. Question 64. When may you use hazard warning lights when the vehicle is moving? A. When in a motorway traffic jam to warn vehicles behind. B. To thank another driver. C. To signal that you're about to change direction. Answer. A. When in a motorway traffic jam to warn vehicles behind. It alerts them to potential danger ahead. Question 65. What is tailgating? A. Using the rear door of a hatchback vehicle. B. Following another vehicle too closely. C. Reversing into a parking space. Answer. B. Following another vehicle too closely. Tailgating is dangerous as it reduces reaction time. Question 66. What does a yellow or amber light mean at a pelican crossing when flashing? A. Stop immediately. B. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. C. Continue driving and don't stop. Answer. B. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. Only proceed when the crossing is clear. Question 67. When should you not attempt to overtake a cyclist? A. On a straight road. B. Just before you turn left. C. When approaching a zebra crossing. Answer. B. Just before you turn left. Overtaking and then turning can cut off the cyclist, which is dangerous. Question 68. You're driving on a road. The rear tires blow out. What should you do? A. Steer towards the side of the road. B. Apply the brakes hard. C. Hold the steering wheel firmly and allow the vehicle to come to a stop. Answer. C. Hold the steering wheel firmly and allow the vehicle to come to a stop. Sudden maneuvers or braking can cause a loss of control. Question 69. You approach a bus at a bus stop. What should you do? A. Continue driving at the same speed. B. Sound your horn to alert the bus driver. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Answer. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Passengers may be getting on or off and they might walk onto the road. Question 70. What color are the reflective studs between the lanes of a motorway? A. Red. B. Amber. C. White. Answer. C. White. These studs help guide you when driving at night or in poor visibility. Question 71. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. To avoid dazzling following vehicles, what should you do? A. Use parking lights only. B. Turn off all lights. C. Use dipped headlights. Answer. A. Use parking lights only. This reduces the chance of dazzling drivers behind you. Question 72. Why are place names painted on roads? A. To give directions ahead of junctions. B. To provide information on the next exit. C. To mark bus stops. Answer. A. To give directions ahead of junctions. This helps drivers get in the correct lane early. Question 73. Before overtaking a large vehicle, why should you stay back? A. To give acceleration space to get past quickly. B. To get a better view of the road ahead. C. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops. Answer. B. To get a better view of the road ahead. This ensures a safer overtake. Question 74. True or false? It's safer to drive at night 
because there's less traffic. Answer. False. Night driving can be more dangerous due to reduced visibility and increased likelihood of tired drivers. Question 75. When driving in foggy conditions, when should you use your fog lights? A. At all times. B. Only when visibility is reduced to 100 meters or less. C. Whenever other vehicles are in sight. Answer. B. Only when visibility is reduced to 100 meters or less. Using fog lights when not necessary can dazzle other drivers. Question 76. On a three-lane motorway, what is the purpose of the right-hand lane? A. For lorries and slow-moving vehicles. B. For overtaking. C. For high-speed vehicles only. Answer. B. For overtaking. The right-hand lane should be used primarily for overtaking slower vehicles. Question 77. What does the national speed limit sign look like? A. A black diagonal stripe through a white circle. B. A white circle with 70 written in it. C. A blue square with 50 written in it. Answer. A. A black diagonal stripe through a white circle. This indicates the start of the national speed limit for that type of road. Question 78. In areas where there are schools, when are you most likely to encounter children crossing the road? A. At weekends. B. During school hours. C. At the start and end of the school day. Answer. C. At the start and end of the school day. Be especially cautious during these times. Question 79. True or false? Front seat passengers age 14 and over are responsible for wearing their seat belt. Answer. True. Passengers aged 14 and over are responsible for wearing their seat belt. Question 80. What does a flashing amber light at a pelican crossing mean? A. Stop and wait for the green light. B. Stop and wait for the red light. C. Give way to pedestrians if they are on the crossing. Answer. C. Give way to pedestrians if they are on the crossing. Question 81. What is the minimum depth of tread required for car tyres? A. 1. 6 mm. B. 2. 0 mm. C. 3. 0 mm. Answer. A. 1. 6 mm. This is essential for safe driving, especially in wet conditions. Question 82. What is the legal alcohol limit for drivers in the UK? A. 30 mg per 100 ml of blood. B. 50 mg per 100 ml of blood. C. 80 mg per 100 ml of blood. Answer. C. 80 mg per 100 ml of blood. However, any amount of alcohol can affect your ability to drive safely. Question 83. How should you treat a zebra crossing with a central island? A. As one crossing. B. As two separate crossings. C. Only give way if someone is waiting on the island. Answer. B. Has two separate crossings. Each half is treated separately. Question 84. In which situation should you avoid overtaking? A. When approaching a bend. B. On a straight, clear road. C. In slow-moving traffic. Answer. A. When approaching a bend. Visibility is restricted, making it unsafe. Question 85. True or false? It's a good idea to follow another vehicle closely in foggy conditions to see the road more clearly. Answer. False. Tailgating in fog is hazardous 
due to reduced visibility and reaction times. Question 86. When can you park on a road marked with double white lines? A. If you feel tired and need a rest. B. To pick up or drop off passengers. C. Never, unless in an emergency. Answer. C. Never, unless in an emergency. Question 87. When should you not to use your vehicle's horn? A. To alert a daydreaming driver at a green light. B. In a built-up area between 11, 30 p.m. and 7 a.m. C. When another driver annoys you. Answer. B. In a built-up area between 11, 30 p.m. and 7 a.m. Using the horn during these hours is prohibited unless in an emergency. Question 88. When joining a motorway, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle joining from the slip road. B. The vehicle already on the motorway. C. Whoever is travelling faster. Answer. B. The vehicle already on the motorway. Always give way to traffic already on the motorway. Question 89. True or false? You can park on a cycle lane marked with a solid white line. Answer. False. This is not permitted. Question 90. How can you identify areas reserved for trams? A. Yellow zigzag lines on the road. B. White diamond shapes on the road. C. Double red lines on the road. Answer. B. White diamond shapes on the road. Question 91. If you're driving in heavy rain and water is building up on the road, what risk should you be most concerned about? A. Reduced visibility. B. Aquaplaning or hydroplaning. C. Overheating engine. Answer. B. Aquaplaning or hydroplaning. This occurs when a layer of water builds up between the tires and the road, leading to loss of traction. Question 92. When should hazard warning lights be activated while you're driving? A. When double parking. B. To thank another driver. C. When you slow down suddenly on a motorway or unrestricted dual carriageway. Answer. C. When you slow down suddenly on a motorway or unrestricted dual carriageway. This warns drivers behind of a potential hazard. Question 93. How far from a junction should you signal your intention to turn? A. 30 meters. B. 45 meters. C. 60 meters. Answer. A. 30 meters. This gives other road users ample notice of your intentions. Question 94. True or false? You're allowed to use a handheld phone when you're stopped at traffic lights. Answer. False. Using a handheld phone while driving, even when stopped, is illegal. Question 95. In a vehicle with manual transmission, when should you use engine braking? A. When descending a steep hill. B. When the engine oil light comes on. C. When accelerating on a motorway. Answer. A. When descending a steep hill. This helps control the vehicle's speed without overusing the brakes. Question 96. How should you deal with a tailgater? A. Speed up to create a gap. B. Brake sharply to warn them. C. Gradually slow down or let them overtake when safe. Answer C. Gradually slow down or let them overtake when safe. Avoid confrontations and aggressive driving. Question 97. When towing a caravan, what's the maximum speed you're allowed to travel on a motorway? A. 50 miles per hour. B. 
60 miles per hour. C. 70 miles per hour. Answer. B. 60 miles per hour. Different speed limits apply when towing. Question 98. True or false? The use of cruise control can help save fuel. Answer. True. Using cruise control can maintain a steady speed, reducing unnecessary acceleration and braking. Question 99. What's the two-second rule? A. The time you should leave between your vehicle and the one in front in dry conditions. B. The time taken to check your mirrors before signalling. C. The time required to change lanes on a motorway. Answer. A. The time you should leave between your vehicle and the one in front in dry conditions. This ensures you have enough time to react. Question 100. When are you allowed to cross a solid white line on the road? A. To overtake a stationary vehicle. B. To get a better view of the road ahead. C. When you're driving at night. Answer. A. To overtake a stationary vehicle. Otherwise, solid white lines indicate that you shouldn't cross or overtake.